Hello, this is Massimo Banzi from Telecom Italia. We are one of the champions of this catalyst, Intel-driven autonomous network for smart mobility. Our focus uh, is on smart mobility and addresses all operators of such an infrastructure, I mean, road operators, municipalities, police, etc., etc. We focus uh, on some mitigation measures that help to reduce traffic congestion, something we all experience. But there is another related aspect that seems paradoxical considering that we are talking about the future of green transportation. We talk about hybrid or electric vehicles. Less pollution with EV, it is claimed. Well, it's not exactly the case. Due to the weight of the battery and the more immediate power delivery to the drive wheels, um, EVs brings additional pollutants in the form of tire and brake emission than conventional vehicles. This is not negligible. This is a form of microplastic pollution, and studies show that it's many times higher than tailpipe emissions in terms of volume. These emissions occur every time a vehicle brakes, uh, turns sharply, or accelerates, and end up in the air, water, and eventually even our, in our food systems. Our solution boils down to better traffic management, achieved by adopting a coordinated driving approach that utilizes V2X technology. V2X stands for Vehicle to Everything, and allows vehicles to communicate with the surrounding traffic management environment, such as uh, toll road operators infrastructure, other vehicles, pedestrians, etc., etc. In our scenario, dedicated lanes are used for coordinated driving, and the toll road operator issues a speed advice or speed recommendation to vehicles to, op to optimize the speed, flow, and density of traffic. Such recommendations require highly reliable communication to ensure that control messages are delivered in a timely manner. We also want to address the challenge of environmental sustainability by using a 5G service to facilitate real-time communication with the vehicle. We enable control over its torque or acceleration setting, uh, which are moderated according to the vehicle location. To support our use cases, we also want to promote a kind of social contract with drivers. Digital tokens will be provided to citizens via distributed ledger technology as an economics bond to ensure compliance with either congestion avoidance or pollution reduction proposal. A set of real-time control algorithms are used to create a personalized commitment culture that enforces compliant behavior, leading to better overall driving behavior. For all of this, we use autonomous networks to meet the needs of our customers. Specifically, we use intent-based management and API, as well as autonomic network architecture specified in the forms autonomic network programs. We show how these uh, V2X services are orchestrating alongside other communication services and managed over their life cycle. Thank you. This is uh, all for me. You can scan for the QR code here to my right to, to see more about our catalyst. Thank you for all.